Welcome to Behind the Bid. My name is Emily Einickner. I'm with the Downtown West Dallas Business Improvement District. Today we're at Urban Joe Cafe with Joe Tairi, owner of Urban Joe's. Joe, how you doing? Good, good, thank you. So Urban Joe's has become a really popular spot in the downtown. How long have you been here? Well, we've been here three and a half years. And what type of food do you serve? Well, we serve uh, all sorts of different foods. The foods that we serve are uh, focused more on uh, healthy choices. Um, we use organic veggies, we make our own dressings, uh, we make our own spreads, the meats that we use on our uh, sandwiches, uh, we kind of consider them a gourmet sandwich in a sense. Uh, they don't have any um, hormone injections or anything like that, they're GMO free. Uh, the breads that we use, they're um, artisan baked breads. We try to source everything locally as well, so that that's good for everybody because you know you kind of keep it yeah, in the, keeping it local exactly and something unique that's on your menu that I haven't really seen anywhere else is you have crepes here yes yes we do we have crepes they're one of the they're becoming very very uh, popular in this area and what's this one that we got this here? is the urban crepe it's one of our dessert uh, crepes but we also do offer savory crepes as well and what's your favorite crepe on the menu? Oh, <laughs> that's a hard question. I, I love them all, but the urban crepe is probably one of my favorites. And what's all on it? <laughs> well, the urban crepe comes with uh, Nutella. It's got bananas, strawberries, uh, drizzled with uh, syrup and ice cream. So, And then we also have some candy nuts on it as well. So it's like dessert for breakfast. Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. And something you're also known for is your coffee and your yes. coffee drinks. Um, so it looks like here we have a, it was a zebra mocha. Yes. So what's a zebra mocha? A zebra mocha is a mocha. We drizzle it with uh, chocolate. All the coffees that we do have are all organic coffees as well. And that's also locally sourced as far as the roasting process goes. It's roasted locally here. In addition to your selection of coffees, you also have a bar here, so you yes. can even spike your coffee. Absolutely. <laughs> so how that's long has <laughs> that been a thing for? <laughs> that's been about two years almost, and uh, it's been a unique uh, little addition to our uh, our flavors here, and we kind of keep it more, you know, a little bit more on the trendy side. We try to keep it moderate but not you know not really have like a bar scene in a sense. So on to the coffee you guys do something unique uh, called your suspended coffee program. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well that's that program is actually kind of really cool because it started in Europe mm -hmm. and what it is is um, it's kind of like paying it forward in a sense and you uh, pay for a cup of coffee and then if somebody comes into the cafe that is in need of a coffee but really can't afford it or whatever the circumstances may be. It could be someone going to a job interview or somebody that just, you know, is out of luck or whatever it is. We'll never turn anybody away. They come in, grab one of these little stones that we put in that have been prepaid, and we pay it forward. Awesome. And now do you do that with just the coffee or do you do that with other items well, we too? Added, uh, we added the sandwiches as well and people have also purchase sandwiches for other people as well. So if you're hungry and there's a colored stone, uh, each stone has a different value yeah. based on whatever, you know, is paid forward. And then, uh, you know, without any question, we don't make any comments or anything. People come in, just grab it and it's done. very normal. It's done. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So something you guys have, and you were the first ones to get it is the Pedlet outside, yeah. uh, which allowed for outdoor dining. Yes. So how has that been working out for you? Oh, that's been amazing. <laughs> the city has been so generous with uh, allowing us to have this, uh, this uh, Pedlet out here because it really enhances the business and enhances the street, I believe. It brings in um, a different sense to the city and the community, I think. So if somebody wants to come in, and order a sandwich or take a seat out on the Pedlet, how can they get a hold of you? Oh, they can go on our website, uh, www.urbanjoecafe.com. Our cafe is located at 7028 West Greenfield Avenue in West Dallas. The phone number is 414-266-1500. We have online ordering as well. 
and you can pay for it, order it right there. We also do catering, corporate catering, special events. So whatever your needs are, we kind of accommodate people to those needs. And then after hours, because we do close at three o'clock, the space is available for rent as well for parties or if you have a graduation or a shower or whatever. We also have accommodated people in that sense as well. That's all for this week on Behind the Bid. Again, my name is Emily Einickner. I'm here with Joe from Urban Joe Cafe, and we'll see you next week.